Hey, Paul here for Retro Gaming Arts, and today I want to talk about cleaning the Engineer SSO2 solder sucker. If you've seen my uh, desoldering video in the whole solder basic series, uh, you'll know that I'm very fond of this, and cleaning it is rather easy. And all you really need is uh, some Q-tips, cotton balls, isopropyl alcohol, and lithium grease. We'll get to the lithium grease later, but it's a very, very critical aspect of cleaning one of these. So. Cleaning it, you just pretty much take it apart, it's separated into three different categories and in those three categories we'll be cleaning it, one being the chamber, the second being the spring, and the third being the plunger, which is what we'll be applying the lithium grease to later. So we just open it up and start cleaning. Now I find that the suction on these is very very strong and that's how they're able to remove all of the solder when you use them. So we need to clean it in order to keep that suction strong. I find that they wear out uh, unless you clean them. And they're $30, so you might as well you know, preserve them and increase the amount of life in them. So the biggest thing on the chamber is the part where uh, the nozzle screws into it. And cleaning everything out of that to continue to create an airtight seal is very important. And I found that this angle right here with a q-tip or a cotton ball is, is works very well to get all of the solder residue out of the little uh, screw rivet and then uh, you just go in and you just clean it with q-tips and cotton balls and you continuously do that and you do it over and over and over because it doesn't all just come out with one cleaning you got to clean it very very thoroughly and i just kept cleaning and you'll still always find more solder in there and you just keep doing it and then uh, once you get the chamber all done then you move on to the spring but I find using the q-tip and just getting it inside and then going back with the cotton ball works really well sticking it inside the chamber and just spinning it works pretty good and then you see like you remove a lot of the solder and then you can even scrape it a little bit because some of it will get stuck on the bottom half of the plunger and by scraping it off uh, you'll get whatever the q-tip and cotton ball didn't get but you got to be careful not to scrape the inside of the chamber just the bottom of the plunger tap it down a lot to get any loose bits off works really well and now we're on to the spring so with the spring the spring you have the stuck solder on the top the bottom the, the left, the right, the inside, the outside, so you really just gotta go over it multiple, multiple times. And then I found a really good way is when you angle in, you angle the Q-tip in on the side and then you just spin it. And then you spin it and that's you'll be removing it off the top and the bottom of each spring. That works really well, but you gotta get the spring clean again. So the whole point of this is at the point where I'm at, with the amount of desoldering I do, I really should invest in a desoldering station, but they're relatively expensive. So I still just use these because I don't want to get a desoldering station yet, even though I really need one. So instead of just buying these when they wear out, by giving them a real good thorough clean, we can continue to use them. And if you're not using one of these to desolder, I highly recommend them. Best pumps I've ever used. And these are the pumps that I will always use until I get a desoldering station. I've even used a desoldering station and it's still nice to have one of these pumps handy. They're very good. I can't, I can't stress it enough. So after we've cleaned the chamber and the spring, you see how many just dirty Q-tips are around and you just you like see how dirty my fingers are in the cotton balls. They're, they're dirty. So after we put it all back together and we kind of, you know, make sure it's clean and it works and the suction's still moderately decent, we're going to take off the plunger aspect and then we're going to lithium grease that. And that's the, that's the critical part because when I very first cleaned one of these, uh, it didn't work properly after. So here we go. We got lithium grease and we cleaned our station so we can lithium grease this in peace. Now, the plunger part is the part where when, you know, you press the button, the spring shoots up and then it pushes the plunger up really fast, which sucks everything out. 
and when you get little air pockets in there, the suction isn't great, or when the spring doesn't pop up fast, the suction isn't great either. So we just have it open, and we're just gonna take a little bit of lithium grease. If you saw my how to clean a PS2 video, I, I was all about lithium grease in that, because lithium grease, I use it on all my CD drives because it doesn't collect dust, and dust or dirt won't attach to lithium grease, so it's perfect. It's really, really good stuff. So we're going to put a little bit of lithium grease in here. The plunger is going to move nice and fast. And then I'm going to show uh, like a side by side of two different um, clean solder suckers. The one on the right is, is lithium grease. The one on the left is not. So you can see the difference it makes. And I actually stopped it frame by frame. So you can see how much better. I mean, it's only four frames faster, which is not a lot but it makes a difference when removing that solder so the one on the left they're both clean the one on the left is no lithium grease the one on the right is lithium grease and you'll be able to see so uh, I really hope this helps somebody if uh, if you use one of these clean it and uh, if you if you're into this kind of stuff feel free to check out all my solder basics series it's all about how to learning and how to solder and stuff like that. You see how the one on the left, it's four frames to go out, and the one on the right just kind of instantly goes up. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. Uh, thanks for checking out all my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time.